Good morning, good evening, road downloaders, Facebook family and friends. This is the day that the Lord has made for you and me, for all of us today. Wherever you're watching from, God bless you. And I'm here to greet you once again. A happy day, a blessed day, and a joyful day, prosperous day, abundant day productive day overflowing day all the days of our lives who are in Christ Jesus are all the days that he has in heaven what is in heaven is here on earth because his kingdom has come thy kingdom come thy will be done father God so blessings to all of you and I want to greet all those who's going to watch this on replay thank you so much for spending your time and listening and watching road download here on facebook live hello my ina anak sherry lynn uh good evening there in the philippines and i uh, want to greet my mom and all the others in the philippines my family i love you all over there and all those who are watching in different parts of the world i love you too india pakistan kenya brazil United States, Canada, Hong Kong, and all different parts of the world. So today I won't be so long, which I always say anyway. I always say that here on Road Download. I say I won't be long. I will be short. But then when the Holy Spirit has something to say, then comes 5-10 minutes becomes 30 minutes. But we always have to give way and to give room to the Holy Spirit. For it is the Holy Spirit that will give us the right message, the right words to say. If we hear and discern from Him. And of course, I want to acknowledge my partner, Holy Spirit. Here you are again, and here we are again, Holy Spirit. Be here in front of me. Be here to have your words and your message be sent out. For this is our work together here on road download facebook live thank you holy spirit thank you for thank you for giving me the courage thank you for giving me the confidence and thank you for giving me this day to be able to go on road download again thank you father god and thank you so much for you promise that you will impart to us that you will give to us the right words to say in the very hour that is needed um let me just go um, this verse just came to me on Luke 12, 12. This is one of those verses that I have to always remind myself of. Luke 12, 12. You know how it is that sometimes you feel like you haven't heard anything from the Holy Spirit and you don't know what to say and you don't know and uh, what to do because you're not really prepared or it's not that you're not prepared you just don't have the words and the message to share right away so on Luke 12 12 I am reminded this reminded me this morning and I think you all know about the story that um but I will go ahead and read Luke 12 11 first so we know what's going on here um it says there, and when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, he said, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say. So I'm just reading on uh, Luke 12, 11. Hello, uh, Joyce. And then on verse 12, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour hello sister maya love you sister it says therefore the holy spirit will teach you in that very hour glory to god hallelujah thank you holy spirit thank you for giving me the courage that very hour what you ought to say so sometimes we we get to a point or we're put on the spot or that we have to spontaneously gonna have to say something impromptu 
And sometimes we get caught off guard of what the situation or what moment and time we're going to be facing. That you felt that you didn't prepare and you're not prepared. You're not prepared to say, you're not prepared to declare or to pray when someone says to you, it's your time to speak or you're you know, it's just that time that you have to be on uh, an occasion. You have to be on an event or you have to be on Facebook Live. And sometimes you don't feel ready. And I feel that most of the times. And I always try to wait for the Holy Spirit. And even at the last moment and minutes, you know, I say, Holy Spirit, I know that I have to be standing or sitting or it is my time to speak yet I don't feel ready yet I don't hear you yet I don't just have the confidence to do it but you know it's just that little pressure that push you to the very last minute that you cannot avoid it and just have to be there and just have to be available and face the reality so the promise of the Holy Spirit is that for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. So Holy Spirit, have your way. This is your hour. This is your moment. And thank you. And thank you for agreeing with me. You know, sometimes I have to pause. I have to pause a little bit. Hello, Sister Pia, to just kind of hear and get the agreement and get the yes and get the amen and get the okay from the Holy Spirit within us and hear and listen are you agreeable to this and we hear that not a small voice but there is an impression that you know that the Holy Spirit is pressing something in you to say yes go ahead I'm, I'm with you and you're with me and we're here together. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And sometimes, you know, when you just start to sense the Holy Spirit, you can just say some things from there. And you can just start speaking, releasing what is being impressed in your spirit. So today, let me just say this real quick. And we have mentioned this in our women empowerment and by the way thank you for all those who attended women empowerment last Tuesday and I shared this verse so I'm going to share this again um, Psalm 27 verse 3 and this is for all of us Psalm 27 verse 3 though an army encamp against me wow an army encamp against me just imagine just you yourself and there's an army this is not a one-on-one -on -one battle sometimes this is not just a head-to-head -head battle sometimes the army of the enemy they sometimes comes against you and I they come against you and me in the time and the season especially when you're alone because the enemy wants you to be isolated, want to segregate you, want to separate you. Because you are being uh, attacked more so when you are by yourself. And so when you are attacked by yourself, it is actually there's an army that comes against us. Glory to God. But it says here, David said, my heart shall not fear. My heart shall not fear. And I have to say that to me over and over again, over and over again, because let me tell you something. God will not say, do not fear, do not be afraid, do not fear, do not be afraid, be of good courage. In the Bible, 365 days will cover this word, do not fear, because we're going to experience and feel and see what fear does. Because there will be something that will make you afraid. There will be something that will make us afraid. There are some things that makes me afraid and fearful. That's why Jesus and God, you know, put a lot of verse about do not fear. 
because he knows we're going to fear. So if you're afraid, yes, you can feel afraid. Yes, we can feel the fear. But it is what we do with the fear and what we and how we handle being afraid. How do we handle being afraid? How we handle being fearful? David said, "My heart shall not fear." He is speaking to himself. David was speaking to his heart. David was talking to himself and saying, "My heart you shall not fear. Yes, hallelujah, glory to God. I just I just heard that in my spirit like I said it. I'm saying it to myself. And say it to yourself as well. If you are in the time and season that you are feeling or sensing the things that fear is encamping around you, and though war arise against me, so there will be that moment in time that there will be a struggle now you're going to start to struggle with what you're going to do with this fear with what you're going to do with being afraid you know sometimes what i remember is going to school having an exam having a practicals having to have an interview having uh, something that i have to go through that you're just afraid and nervous right you're afraid and you're nervous because there is something struggling within you there's something struggling that you're still battling to fight against the fear to fight against what you're afraid of and that is the struggle that most of us are going through right now there is a struggle the struggle is very real but david said yet i will be confident wow hallelujah glory to god yet i will be confident he drew confidence from something He drew his confidence. He eventually have overcome. He eventually have pushed fear and feeling afraid aside and overpowered it and overwhelmed it with something. And what is this that pushed this fear of David around those enemies that encamp him? First he spoke over himself that he shall not fear and when after he said he shall not fear that my heart shall not fear so i say the same thing i shall not be afraid and i shall not fear and then something inside you will ask you a question and say why are you not supposed to be afraid why are you not supposed to be nervous why are you not supposed to be fearful Why are you not supposed to be intimidated? Why are you not supposed to be timid? Why are you supposed to be confident? Why are you supposed to be bold? How do we really struggle with this fear and anxiety and worry? How do we really struggle with this? Because it is a fact that we go through that. And then we say what to do, right? We say what to do when you're afraid, do not be afraid. Why? Because we start saying and how. We need to know the what, the why and the how. And the when. The when is the now. The why is because of knowing who you are and whose you are. And you've heard this many times. It's the understanding and knowing who's with you. And knowing and understanding that you're not going through this yourself. And you understand that even when you're putting and being put into the stand like in Luke 12 12 even you are put into the stand of the authority and against officials against anything that is coming against you know that you are not there yourself but with the holy spirit and the holy spirit even promised that i will tell you that very hour what to say that very hour so knowing first who you are and who's with you and speak to yourself then allow the holy spirit to speak for you and then the second thing of speaking to yourself knowing who you are david said here on verse 5 psalms 27 i jumped there on verse 5 because see david on verse 4 have asked already something of the lord 
that he will seek after and that he will dwell in the house of the Lord. So on verse 5, this is what made David confident. Yet I will be confident. Glory to God. Yet I will be confident. On verse 5, for he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. In the day of trouble. Whether we like it or not, we cannot say, I don't know if you can, bless bless you and bless the Father and thank you that right now. In the day of trouble, there will be a day of trouble. There will be a day of trouble while we're here on earth. No matter who we are, sons of God, saints, believers, pastors, leaders, government leaders, billionaires, CEOs, no matter who we are in the earth, there will be a day of of trouble and then David get his confidence because of that that he know who's with him where he is whose he is and that he will do this that he will do this that he will hide him in his wings and his shelter and in his presence in the day of trouble Hallelujah. And he will conceal me under the cover of his tent. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he will lift me high upon a rock. I love this. And he will lift me high upon a rock. Glory to God. And sometimes when we're afraid and we're fearful, we want to run away. We don't want to face what's before us. You want to hide. And I felt that many, many times in my life. Many, many times. And even up to now, I still encounter these things. That I want to run away. That I want to hide. That I want to run for shelter and refuge. But I'm forgetting. You know that I'm forgetting who and where I am running to. Sometimes I see what's bigger in front of me of what I'm running away from or what I'm hiding myself from. But I'm forgetting to see and to look where and who am I running to, which is bigger, which is more strong, which is larger, which is going to give me confidence. And that is our Father, our Father, our Abba will conceal us under the cover of his tent. Not only when we run and get shelter in the Father, he will conceal us from trouble. He will give us, he will sustain us, he will impart his nature of what heaven is into us while he covers us during trouble. Not only will he do that, he said, he will lift me up upon a rock. Wow, hallelujah, glory to God. So yes, we can hide and we can run away and hide from. But know where we're running and hiding away towards and to. That is our Father. That we turn around, we repent, you, you do a... 180 degree turn away from the fear and what we're afraid of and away from the enemy and get enveloped and covered by the Father's love and then He will lift us up upon a rock. Who will lift us up upon the rock? It's not you and I. It's not you and me who will lift me up upon the rock. But I have to still speak to myself first, like David did. I still have to declare the words against what I'm going through. And then I shall turn around and go run to the Father, go run to the Holy Spirit. And then you surrender to the Holy Spirit. And then He shall lift us up upon the rock. Aside from being afraid and fearful, and if we run to the Father, then He will even put us in a safer place and even higher. 
then he will even put us on a sure foundation, a rock of foundation that will never be shaken, that you will not be, uh, you'll be unshakable, you'll be unmovable because he will put us high upon a rock, not just upon a rock, but even high, the rock that is high. That means a rock that is high above the trouble, the rock that is above your fear, the rock that is above the army of enemies that encamps David, that is even higher. And so we know where to run and who we're running to. So we have to turn around to the Father in the times of trouble because there is a day of trouble. But there is also a day that He is lifting us up upon a rock. And then, now, on verse 6, My head shall be lifted up. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Above my enemies all around me. And I will offer in His tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you, God, that we're going to be drawing our confidence in you. That you are our refuge, that you are our shelter. Thank you, Father God, today and tonight. That as we go and move forward, though enemies come against me, though the fear and worry comes over us, that Father, give us the right words to say and declare over our body and over our souls and over our hearts. That we shall not be afraid yet we struggle we will be confident for you are giving us and reminding us the right words to declare over ourselves that we are yours you said father that I called you by your name and you are mine that the father is saying I called you by your name and that you are mine I heard you know while I was praying last night He was saying something about the secret in the name. There is a secret in the name. Secret in the name of the Father. Secret in your name. That sometimes we have to just look and turn around the secret that is revealed through our name. The secret that is revealed in the name of our Father. So that He, that so that we can be confident. And He will hide us in the day of trouble. So thank you, Father God, for all of us. As I lift us, everyone, Father God, as I lift ourselves and us who may feel weary, who may feel drained, who may feel the struggle, that we are drained down, that the energy is running low, Father God, that today or tonight, that you shall overflow us with the right words to say, with the right words to speak, with the right words, the rhema words that will pour onto our spirits and our hearts that we can be confident again. That, Father, that this is the day of trouble, yet this is also the day to rejoice. That this is also the day that we shall come bold and confident. For where there is darkness, there is light that comes. Let it be, Father God, to be light all around us right now as we come together. That we may overcome and overwhelm darkness. Everyone, everybody in the church, every son of God, every child of God, every saint, every believer, everyone, Father God, and even those who have not seen you, God. That you are a just God. That you allow the sun to shine over the just and the unjust. That you allow rain to come over everybody in the world. For you are a good and a mighty God. That your goodness still overflows. Though they may not know you, you are not a God who withholds blessings by works. But you release blessings because of who you are as a giver as a generous father, as a lover of our souls. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, that you covered the whole earth, that you covered the whole earth, 
that we're going to declare and continue to say what is truth, that the truth has set us free, that the truth is that earth is covered with your glory, that the earth is covered with heaven and the kingdom of light, that we are all covered by, by all truth and life right now, that the truth has set us free, set us free from bondages, that you are our stronghold. Even David said here um, on the first verse that the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. Bring out the stronghold of, of holding on to the Lord and pull down the strongholds of the enemy. How do we pull down the stronghold of the enemy? By bringing in our stronghold, our stronghold, the stronghold of heaven, which is the Lord. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. He is my light and my salvation. In whom shall I be afraid? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I shall not be afraid. Though may I may walk in the day of trouble today or tonight, that I will continue to declare and continue to struggle and to war and to fight because I know I have been set free. For I know that I, am the, I have the truth in me, that I am in the way and the life and the truth who, who Jesus is. I thank you, Father. For you're the one who will lift me up upon the rock. That you are the one that will lift me up high. So Father God right now. Glory to God. I'm going to stop struggling. I'm going to stop fighting. For now you are taking this fight and this battle for me. Once you go inside the tent of the Father's presence, once you go inside the tent of the Lord, once you go inside the shelter of the Father, then you're struggling and war shall stop. Why? You, you surrender. You no longer, you have made a decision that you're no longer going to struggle, but you have surrendered the fight to the Father. And when you do, and when you do completely let go and start to begin weak in fighting and struggling, don't just let go without knowing whom you have let go of the things you're fighting for. We had to fight, yet at the end of the fight, before you let go, know and and hear this you have to know who you are letting this go for we have to be in that place that when we get in the presence of God we know the battle is over that he will take it from here that he will just encamp you if the army is encamping you then the father will encamp you and the angels as well then when we stop struggling, then God can lift us up high on the rock. God can lift us high upon the rock. It is not by our own strength, but it is by the power of the Holy Spirit. So those are the two things why David said, Yet I will be confident because he spoke over himself of who is who and what he shall do that he shall not fear and then he hid in the shelter of the Lord and then the father took over from there we have things to to do and to execute but there is also a time and a day that we know when how why we are doing that And that giving our struggle up and have the Lord take over. And then you shall feel light. Then you shall feel the uplifting of the Spirit of God. Because He is bringing you up higher on the rock. So today and tonight, may you 
be encamped by the presence of the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we need we need to sense more. We need to feel more. We need to know more that your presence is with us. We need to open more our ears and our senses of the Father's presence and the Father's arms around us because He is always present. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Thank you for imparting with me and imparting with us your words of comfort, your words of confidence, your words that we can trust. Your words that we have faith and we believe that we can truly let go of the struggles and just step by faith and not by sight. Thank you and I give you all the honor and the glory, Holy Spirit. And today, we will continue to take a step, a step that is ordered by you, the step that you take as well, Holy Spirit and Father God. And thank you for all the angels. Thank you so much, everybody. And those who are coming in, uh, Jules, thank you, Jonathan. Um, Lindy, thank you for coming in. Erickson, thank you for watching. Glory to God for all of you. I love you all. Um, and Asif, also from um, those who are watching in India, Pakistan, I love you all. God bless you. I will see you next time and remember who will lift you up high on the rock receive it and believe it and walk in confidence love you all god bless